Welcome or welcome back to Cinebolt. Today I've got some juicy insider info on the hottest Netflix editions coming your way in December 2023. Brace yourselves, because Netflix is unleashing a tidal wave of both movies and TV shows. We're talking about a treasure trove of blockbuster hits, a mind-blowing Netflix original that has everyone on the edge of their seats, and a delightful mix of timeless classics and fresh series to keep you glued to your screens. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. Releasing on December 1st on Netflix is the DCU collection of movies. It's quite surprising, but they will be including a pretty huge list of DC movies, encompassing everything released in the past 5 or 6 years. Among them is the highly anticipated 2022 The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson, which is fantastic, and one I highly recommend. Netflix will also be featuring Man of Steel, which introduced Henry Cavill as Superman and is widely regarded as a solid superhero movie. But the collection doesn't shy away from including less solid flicks such as Batman vs Superman and Justice League. Fans can also look forward to watching both Shazam 1 and 2, which bring a lighthearted and comedic touch to the superhero genre, and the immensely popular Wonder Woman and its less popular sequel will also be included. Also in the list is Suicide Squad and James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, which provides a dose of anti-hero action and dark humor, and for those looking for something a little different, DC Super Pets will bring animated fun and adventure to the mix. For a complete list of the DC movies available on Netflix, do check the description and top pinned comment of this video. Also releasing on December 1st is the new Netflix original drama titled May December, starring Natalie Portman and Julianne Moore. In this captivating film, Portman portrays an actor who immerses herself in the role of a character inspired by Julianne Moore's portrayal and is loosely based on the story of Mary Kay Letourneau. Having premiered at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival, May December showcases the exceptional talents of these renowned actors, so be sure not to miss the opportunity to witness their remarkable performances. Additionally, on the same day, Netflix will also release the acclaimed movie Black Swan, again featuring Natalie Portman and directed by Darren Aronofsky. Other great classic movies coming to Netflix on December 1st includes Hunter Killer, LA Confidential, Taken 1 and 2, Boys in the Hood, Lucy, the original Insidious and many others. And my final December 1st pick is the Korean supernatural horror series Sweet Home. The second season is set to premiere on the first, and I must say that the first season was truly mind-blowing and left audiences on the edge of their seats. The trailer for season 2 appears to be even more intense, so if you have an inclination towards anything from South Korea, then Sweet Home is a must-watch. The Super Mario Bros. movie is set to be added to Netflix on December 3rd. This Nintendo film, released in 2023, took the world by storm and became a massive success, grossing over a billion dollars globally, and now Netflix has secured the rights to stream this beloved movie in the United States. With its captivating storyline and engaging characters, the movie offers a delightful blend of humor and thrilling moments that will no doubt keep viewers of all ages entertained. On December 6th, viewers can anticipate the arrival of an exciting French action thriller series called Blood Coast. This gripping series follows a dedicated team of police officers as they tirelessly pursue a notorious criminal, aiming to safeguard Marseille from a potential catastrophe. All six episodes of this thrilling series will be available for streaming on that day. Additionally, on the same day, a delightful Norwegian holiday romantic comedy titled Christmas as Usual, featuring Cannon Gill and Ida Ersen Holm, will also be released. Scheduled for release on December 7th is The Archies, which is a Bollywood musical rendition of the beloved Archie comics. Set in Riverdale, India, during the year 1964, this adaptation chronicles the lives of Archie, Betty, Veronica, and Jughead as they navigate school, romance, and the trials and tribulations of young adulthood. Additionally, viewers can anticipate the debut of Analog Squad, an intriguing Thai series that revolves around a cunning middle-aged man who constructs a fictitious family, as well as the highly anticipated third season of Hilda, which stands as one of Netflix's most exceptional animated series for children throughout its history. On December 8th, get ready for the release of Leave the World Behind, a gripping psychological thriller directed by the talented Sam Esmail, renowned for his creation of the acclaimed series Mr. Robot. This captivating film is an adaptation of the book of the same name, which follows a family's extraordinary journey that takes an unexpected turn when a cyber attack threatens the entire world. With an impressive cast that includes Julia Roberts, Mahershala Ali, and Ethan Hawke, this movie is sure to leave a lasting impression. 
Following closely on December 9th is Love and Monsters, a thrilling 2020 teen action fantasy adventure set in a post-apocalyptic world that is dominated by colossal insects. The movie offers a mesmerizing escape into a beautifully crafted fantasy realm. Not only does it transport viewers to a visually stunning world, but it also delivers a captivating narrative and expertly executed humor. On December 14th, the second part of Crown Season 6 will be released. If you haven't had the chance to watch it yet, this highly acclaimed series on Netflix showcases different actors portraying the Queen throughout various stages of her life. In this upcoming installment, the focus will heavily be on Princess Diana, portrayed by Elizabeth Debicki. As the series nears its conclusion, it is definitely a must-watch for anyone interested in the royal family. Additionally, on the same day, Netflix will also release Yu Yu Hakusho, the latest addition to their collection of anime-turned-live-action series. Unlike Cowboy Bebop and One Piece, Yu Yu Hakusho is a Japanese production, staying true to its original roots. The story revolves around a teenager who dies, but is brought back to life and becomes a supernatural investigator. Given the immense popularity of the original anime worldwide, it will be interesting to see if this latest adaptation lives up to its predecessors. Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget is set to release on December 15th. This highly anticipated sequel follows the beloved characters from the original Chicken Run, which was released back in 2000. In this installment, the chickens have discovered a peaceful island sanctuary, however, Ginger and her friends make the courageous decision to return to the mainland, where they learn about a new danger that threatens all chickens. Aardman Animations, known for their exceptional clay animation work in the original Chicken Run, as well as other beloved films like Shaun the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit, once again brings this captivating story to life. On the 16th, Netflix adds Neighbors, which is a funny movie that's worth a watch, and on the 18th, they add a new Netflix original movie titled The Bank of Dave, which is a true story of a man who tried to set up a community bank in his neighborhood. On the 20th, we have Maestro, a highly anticipated film that showcases the immense talent of Bradley Cooper, both as an actor and director. This biopic delves deep into the captivating and complex relationship between the legendary conductor-composer Leonard Bernstein and the talented actress Felicia Montalegre Cone Bernstein. Maestro has already started generating significant buzz in the industry, with many predicting that it could be a strong contender for several prestigious awards, including the Oscars. As someone who was impressed with Bradley Cooper's direction in A Star Is Born, I am eagerly looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table with Maestro, even though the overall subject matter is not something I would generally be interested in. As Christmas approaches, Netflix starts gearing up for some exciting releases. On December 22nd, they will be adding their highly anticipated sci-fi action-adventure film titled Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire. This epic space opera tells the story of a peaceful settlement that faces a threat from the tyrannical force known as the Imperium. In response, a villager takes it upon herself to gather warriors from across the galaxy to defend their home against the Mother World's army. Rebel Moon is written and directed by Zack Snyder, renowned for his work on various DC movies and the action-packed film 300. Originally conceived as a Star Wars project, Snyder decided to make Rebel Moon a standalone franchise. The movie will be released in two parts, with the second half coming out in 2024. As someone who liked a lot of Snyder's movies, I am eagerly looking forward to watching Rebel Moon on its release day. With its epic scope, thrilling action, and captivating story, I can't wait to see how Rebel Moon unfolds. Another release on December 22nd is a captivating Korean period drama called Giant Seon Creature. Created by Kang Eun K and Chung Dong Yoon, this series is set in the spring of 1945 and follows the struggles of a young man and woman as they battle against monsters born out of human greed. Again, if you enjoy Korean dramas, then make sure not to miss this one. Netflix is also bringing back Star Trek Prodigy on Christmas Day. For those who don't know, this Paramount Plus original series was unfortunately cancelled after its first season due to budget constraints. However, it seemed to have garnered a dedicated fan base, so there are likely a few individuals eagerly anticipating its arrival on Netflix. Furthermore, Season 2 is already in the works and scheduled to debut in 2024. On December 28th, we have an enchanting stop-motion animated series called Pokemon Concierge, set in the Serene Pokemon Resort, which offers a relaxing and enjoyable retreat for Pokemon and their owners. Although I may not personally be a Pokemon enthusiast, I can see how the Concierge series would captivate fans of this immensely popular global media franchise, particularly kids. 
And lastly, mark your calendar for December 29th as Berlin takes the spotlight. If you are a fan of the original Money Heist show or its Korean spin-off, then this upcoming series is bound to be a must-watch. It revolves around the captivating character Berlin, who meticulously plans one of the most remarkable heists of his career, aiming to steal a fortune in jewels that is worth an astonishing 44 million euros. The stakes are high, and the tension builds as the heist unfolds, revealing unexpected twists and turns. As with the original Money Heist show, viewers can expect a thrilling and suspenseful storyline that keeps them hooked from start to finish, and the series promises to deliver the same level of excitement and adrenaline-pumping action that fans have come to love. That's all for today, and thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all our future content, packed with more movie and series recommendations.